This training video is intended for clinical training of health professionals and parents practicing kangaroo mother care. This is a five-part instructional series practicing kangaroo mother care, or KMC, for preterm and low birth weight babies in various settings. Part 1. Helping mother position correctly for KMC. Part 2. Helping mother breastfeed in KMC. Part 3. Helping mother express breast milk herself while practicing KMC skills. Part 4. Helping mothers and families prevent infection and monitor baby's progress. Part 5. KMC for higher acuity babies. In the World Health Organization Western Pacific Region, every year, 1.9 million infants are born preterm, meaning they are born at less than 37 weeks of gestational age, or low birth weight, meaning they weigh less than 2,500 grams. Deaths of preterm births account for half of all newborn deaths, but at least half are preventable without intensive care. Kangaroo Mother Care, or KMC, is a WHO-recommended intervention to prevent the main causes of preterm death and promote growth and brain development. It involves prolonged skin-to-skin -skin contact, early and exclusive breastfeeding, and close monitoring for illness. Part 1. Helping Mother Position Her Baby Correctly for KMC an important first step in administering KMC is talking to the parents about the components and benefits of KMC. KMC has three important components. Skin-to-skin -skin contact, continuous KMC of more than 20 hours per day is recommended. Exclusive breastfeeding, exclusive breastfeeding, including expressing and storing breast milk and close monitoring for illnesses. Continuous KMC has several important benefits. It keeps the baby warm, breastfed, and protected from harmful bacteria. It lowers the risk of mortality and morbidity, and it promotes bonding, brain development, and healthy growth. When babies reach term-corrected age, which is 40 weeks, or when babies start to refuse KMC, KMC can be terminated. 2. Preparing for KMC. The health worker must show the mother how to prepare for KMC in five simple steps. 1. Wash hands thoroughly before baby care. 2. Prepare the KMC binder and clothes for the mother and baby. Put the binder over the mother's head and then move the rolled binder to her waist. A binder is a simple, inexpensive, semi-elastic tube made from locally available fabric. 3. Put on clothes that can be opened in the front. Four, remove the baby's clothes except for cap, socks, and diaper. Check the diaper and if it is dirty, change it with the baby lying on his or her side. Do not lift the legs because this action may traumatize the hips and increase abdomen pressure. Five, repeat hand washing after touching the baby, clothes, and diaper. Next, the health worker should teach the mother how to position her baby correctly for KMC. 1. Hold the baby with one hand supporting the head and neck and the other hand on the bottom. Gently place the baby in a vertical position between the mother's breasts and establish chest-to-chest -chest contact, ensuring that the baby's legs and arms are flexed. 2. 
Ensure that the baby's head is slightly extended with the head turned to one side and the arms flexed. 3. Hold the baby's head, neck and back against the mother's chest with one arm. Pull the rolled up binder over the baby's feet and bottom. Pull the upper edge of the binder to the level of the baby's ears and cover the baby's body with it. Flex one leg into a frog position and cover the leg and foot with the lower edge of the binder. Repeat with the other leg. Four, adjust the binder securely so the baby will not fall out when the mother is moving around. Five, check that the baby can breathe easily and make sure that the binder is not too tight over the baby's chest. 6. Button clothes over the baby. Also, ensure that the mother is comfortable. 7. Wash hands after baby care. With these simple steps, the baby and mother are now in comfortable skin-to-skin -skin contact. 4. Changing diaper while in KMC position. Finally, the health worker should ensure that the mother and other caregivers know how to properly change the baby's diaper while in KMC position. 1. Wash hands thoroughly before baby care. Prepare a clean diaper, baby wipes, and a small container of warm water. Put a mirror in front of the baby and mother to more easily observe the baby's bottom. 3. Pull the lower edge of the binder up to the baby's waist. 4. Open the dirty diaper carefully. 5. Fold the dirty diaper to cover the stool or urine. 6. Soak the baby wipes in warm water, squeeze until damp, and gently clean the bottom area from front to back, changing wipes until the baby's bottom is clean. 7. Discard the wipes with a used diaper. 8. Place the front of the clean diaper under the baby's bottom and bring it forward to a position under the umbilicus. Bring the back of the diaper over the baby's bottom. Close and seal the diaper. Make sure it's not too tight or too loose. Flex one leg into a frog position and cover the leg and foot with the lower edge of the binder. Repeat with the other leg. Again, hands must be washed after baby care. While providing KMC, the mother or other family members providing KMC, such as the father or the grandparents, may take short breaks for going to the toilet, drinking, or eating. These breaks should last no more than 30 minutes per session. When the mother needs some time to rest and recuperate, the father and grandparents may provide KMC, provided they are healthy. Continuous KMC of at least 20 hours a day is recommended to provide maximum benefits to babies.
Part 2, Helping Mother Breastfeed in KMC. Early and exclusive breastfeeding is one of the most life-saving actions that mothers can do for their newborn infants. Delays in the initiation of breastfeeding are associated with a dramatic increase in the risk of death and illness. Mothers of preterm and low birth weight babies have preterm milk which contains more fat, protein and minerals. These are crucial for baby's health. Talking to the mother about breastfeeding, the health worker has an important role in helping parents initiate early and exclusive breastfeeding. First, talk to the mother about how and when to feed her baby. 1. Babies demonstrate feeding cues when they are ready to be fed. This can include drooling, mouth opening, and tonguing, licking, biting hands, and crawling towards the breast. 2. Newborn babies should be fed 8 to 12 times in 24 hours when they show feeding cues. A new mother might not know how to correctly position her baby when breastfeeding. It is important that the health worker teaches her how to do this. 1. As always, washing hands thoroughly before baby care is a crucial first step. 2. Carefully move the lower edge of the binder over the baby's legs to its bottom. 3. Move the upper edge of the binder under the armpits, keeping the baby covered. When the baby is breastfeeding from breast, use both hands to hold the head and support the bottom. 3. The mother should hold the baby close with as much skin-to-skin -skin contact as possible. 4. Support the baby's body, not just the neck and shoulders. 5. Ensure that the baby's ear, shoulder, and hip are in a straight line to the midline of its body. 6. Ensure that the baby's face looks towards the breast with its nose opposite the nipple. 7. Pull the binder back up to the baby's neck and over the legs. The baby is now ready to attach to the breast with a little help from the mother. 1. Touch the baby's lips with a nipple. 2. Wait for the baby's mouth to open wide. 3. Move the baby onto the breast with its lower lip well below the nipple as the mouth is closing. What are the signs of good attachment? 1. The baby's chin is touching the breast. 2. The baby's mouth is wide open, cheeks are round during suckling. 3. The baby's lower lip is curled out downwards. 4. More areola is visible above the baby's mouth than below. Signs of good breastfeeding include The baby feeds with low, deep sucks. 2. Occasional short pauses in sucking are normal. 3. No sucking sounds should be heard. Feed on one side until the breast feels empty and move to the other side if baby wants to continue to feed. As a final step, show the mother how to return the baby to KMC position after breastfeeding. Pull the lower edge of the binder towards its bottom, then move the upper edge of the binder to the baby's armpits. Move the baby back into the upright frog KMC position. Pull the upper edge of the binder to the level of the baby's ears and cover its body. Flex one leg into a frog position and cover the leg and foot 
with the lower edge of the binder. Repeat with the other leg. Wash hands after baby care. Newborn babies should be fed at least eight times a day. The majority of babies born at 32 or more weeks gestational age should be able to feed directly from the breast. For babies less than 32 weeks gestational age, expressed breast milk can be given by nasogastric tube, spoon, or cup. Bottle feeding is not recommended for low birth weight or preterm babies. Part 3. Helping mother express breast milk herself while practicing KMC skills. Expressed breast milk is given to preterm babies who cannot suck or swallow or who tire easily. It can also be used for term babies so that they can be fed breast milk even while their mother is away. Expressing breast milk and storing it correctly can ensure that babies continuously benefit from breast milk. Health workers have a unique role in helping new mothers learn how to express breast milk while practicing KMC skills. As a first step, the health worker should talk with the mother about what she can expect when expressing breast milk. 1. Breast milk is made deep in the breast and flows to the nipple. No milk will come if only the nipple is squeezed. 2. Expressing breast milk should be done at the same frequency as breastfeeding a newborn, 8 to 12 times on average in 24 hours. 3. Hand expressing breast milk should not hurt. If there is pain or soreness, there is a problem with the technique that needs to be corrected. Use soap and water to clean the cup and lid that will be used to store the expressed milk. Fill the cup with boiling water and wait for it to cool. Empty and dry the cup. Health workers should teach the mother how to massage her breasts to produce enough breast milk with the baby in the KMC position when the mother has difficulty in producing milk. 1. Wash hands thoroughly. 2. Loosen the binder and move the baby away from one breast. Carefully move the lower edge of the binder over the baby's legs to its bottom. Move the upper edge of the binder to the armpits and keep the baby covered. If expressing on the right breast, use the left hand to hold the head and the right hand to hold the baby's bottom. Rotate the baby's head toward the left breast. Pull the binder back to cover the legs. Adjust to expose the right breast. Pull the binder up to cover the head. Begin breast massage using one or both hands. 3. Run fingers from the edges of the breast down toward the nipple.
Four, use both knuckles to massage from the edges of the breast towards the nipple. Five, use both thumbs to massage from the edges of the breast towards the nipple in a circular motion. Six, use thumb to move around the areola. Seven, use thumb and forefinger to massage around the nipple. Continue massage for three to five minutes. It is important that health workers show the mother how to express breast milk. 1. Form the hand into the shape of a letter C on the area behind the areola, about 2 to 4 centimeters from the center of the nipple. 2. Press back towards the chest wall and compress the breast rhythmically between the thumb and fingers until milk appears, then release. Repeat, press, compress, and release, and do not move the fingers. When the flow slows, move the fingers and thumb to a new position, gradually moving all around the areola. Continue until the milk flow stops. 4. Repeat on the second side until both breasts feel empty. 5. Put a lid on the container and store in a cool place or in the refrigerator until ready to feed to baby. At room temperature, breast milk can be stored for 4 to 8 hours, depending on the temperature. In a refrigerator, breast milk can be stored for 5 days. In a freezer, it can be stored for up to 6 months, depending on the temperature. Teach the new mother how to feed her baby using expressed breast milk. 1. Feed the baby small amounts of breast milk using a cup and spoon. Do not pour milk into the baby's mouth. Let the baby use its tongue to lap the milk. 2. Return the baby to the KMC position. Three, wash hands after baby care. Frozen breast milk should be thawed inside the refrigerator for 24 hours or by putting the container over gentle heat in warm water or room temperature. Do not boil or thaw frozen breast milk in a microwave. Any remaining thawed breast milk must be discarded after use.
Part 4, Helping Mothers and Families Prevent Infection and Monitor Baby's Progress. Proper hand hygiene and close monitoring during KMC is important for the baby. Always keep hand hygiene in mind. 1. Use soap and clean water or alcohol-based hand rub. Duration of the entire procedure, 40 to 60 seconds. Soap and water. Dry the hands with disposable towel. Clean hands before and after breastfeeding or expressing breast milk. Before and after baby care, like bathing or changing a diaper. After using the toilet. Before and after handling food and cooking. After using a mobile phone. All family members, wash hands thoroughly before touching the baby. Close monitoring is a crucial aspect of KMC. Communicate clearly to the mother and other caregivers that they should call for medical help immediately if any of these signs are observed in the baby. 1. Breathing is fast, that is, more than 60 breaths per minute. Breathing is irregular or gasping. Breathing is noisy. 2. Breathing causes the muscles of the chest to be severely indrawn. 3. Breathing stops for over 20 seconds. This is known as an apneic episode. 4. Pale or blue lips or skin around the mouth. 5. Yellow skin or jaundice in the first 24 hours or on the palms of hands or soles of the feet at any age. 6. Baby feels cold or hot. 7. Stops feeding well or difficulty feeding. Abdominal distension. Recurrent vomiting. Diarrhea. 8. Convulsions. The health worker must also discuss discharge criteria with the parents. The baby may be brought home safely under these conditions. 1. No apnea. Apnea is when the baby stops breathing for more than 20 seconds or stops breathing and becomes blue. 2. The baby is feeding well, meaning good attachment to the breast has been achieved and the baby is feeding for about 15 to 20 minutes each time, 8 to 12 times a day. Relaxed after each feed and has 5 or more wet diapers a day if it is more than 5 days old. 3. The baby is gaining an adequate amount of weight. 4. The baby's temperature is stable. She knows the danger signs and actions to watch out for, and she has adequate support at home. The effective practice of KMC involves close monitoring of the baby's breathing, temperature, skin color, and feeding. Caregivers must call medical staff or seek care if any dangerous signs are observed. Any person coming into contact with the baby should wash their hands before and after. Part 5. KMC for Higher Acuity Babies KMC is used for preterm and low birth weight babies. It can be provided effectively to babies receiving phototherapy, continuous positive airway pressure, or intravenous therapy, provided their vital signs are stable and they can be adequately monitored by trained staff. The following steps are to be followed by health workers administering KMC during phototherapy. 1. The father and baby lie on the bed with the baby in the KMC position. The bed is inclined at about 30 to 40 degrees above horizontal. Wash hands thoroughly. The father pulls the binder to his waist and exposes the baby's skin.
The baby wears a hat and diaper only. When necessary, raise the bed rails on the side of the phototherapy lamp and cover them with pillows to prevent the baby from falling out of bed. Measure the temperature of the baby and ensure it is in the normal range. 3. Place a phototherapy lamp above the father and baby. The lamp is covered with a curtain. 4. Cover the baby's eyes with an eye mask or pull the baby's hat over its eyes. 5. Adjust the distance between the lamp and the baby according to national standards and then turn on the lamp. 6. Wash hands after patient care. 7. Document the time, the baby's temperature, and bilirubin level as the phototherapy starts. Continue to monitor the baby's vital signs per national guidelines. If its temperature is less than 37 degrees Celsius during phototherapy, a low-temperature sterilized plastic cover should be used to cover the baby. 8. When the phototherapy session is over, remove the lamp and encourage continuous KMC and breastfeeding. 2. KMC during continuous positive airway pressure. Mothers should be coached using dolls before performing KMC on their babies in this situation. To administer KMC during continuous positive airway pressure, health workers must follow these procedures. 1. Evaluate whether the baby is clinically stable enough for KMC, based on the hospital clinical criteria or national guidelines. 2. Explain and discuss the benefits of KMC with the parents of the baby. 3. Educate the parents about the sequence of action involved in KMC, including dressing the baby, putting on the binder, transferring the baby to the chest, and putting the baby into the KMC position. Encourage parents to use toilet or drink before KMC. 4. Prepare the environment and the mother for KMC. Provide a quiet environment and close the doors and curtains. 5. Place the chair or bed close to the ventilator and ensure that all infusion lines are within reach of the chair prior to transfer. 6. Check that vital signs are stable and CPAP airflow is normal. 7. Wash hands and prepare baby with hat, socks and diaper. 8. Use tapes to secure all lines and tubing on the baby. 9. Place the binder over the mother's head to her waist. Gently move the baby from the incubator to the mother's chest in a smooth and steady movement supporting the head and neck. Put the baby in the KMC position. Ensure that the baby's head is placed to one side so that the parents can see it breathing. Incline the mother and baby's head on chair at more than 30 degrees above horizontal. Provide a mirror so that the mother can see her baby's face and observe the baby breathing. Adjust the nasal prongs or mask to the right position and ensure that the correct pressure is given. Ensure that all lines are kept free and are not compressed or pulled out. It is very important to regularly monitor and make the necessary adjustments to ensure baby has appropriate oxygen saturation and heart rate to ensure KMC is safely applied while baby receives CPAP. Continuous KMC longer than 20 hours a day is recommended to achieve optimal benefits for preterm and low birth weight babies when clinically feasible. Adult beds are recommended for comfort during continuous KMC.